There is some controversy tonight over a plan to turn Aston Hall at George Washington University into a shelter for people who are experiencing homelessness. The Department of Human Services says it would be the only shelter in Ward 2 and the first of its kind in the district. It's situated along New Hampshire Avenue Northwest and in an area that's home to at least four upscale hotels. Tonight at a special ANC meeting, neighbors on both sides of this debate had a chance to sound off. News 4's Walter Morris was there. Plans to turn this building into a shelter for those who previously experienced homelessness have a lot of folks in the Foggy Bottom West End neighborhood talking. Are we going to be part of the problem or are we going to be part of the solution? The prostitutes or drug addicts or drug dealers around there, you have to call the police. Wednesday, the Advisory Neighborhood Commission 2A holding a special meeting to discuss the district's plan to acquire Aston Hall from GW. I seriously question the choosing of this location. Um, based on the fact that it sits across the street from a Michelin star restaurant. It's got another Michelin star restaurant on the corner and one right around the corner. Tonight. Eating at a Michelin star restaurant is not a human right. Housing, on the other hand, is. Department of Human Services would like to convert the building on New Hampshire Avenue into a non-congregate shelter for the medically vulnerable and those who can't stay in other shelters. An opportunity to serve folks that we have not been able to serve um, previously in our system, adult family. DHS says it would take about eight weeks to convert the Aston once the sale goes through. The shelter would have a capacity for 190 residents. Officials say medical services and meals would be available to those who need it. And under the agreement, the city would buy the building for $27.5 million, with $19 million coming from HUD under the American Rescue Plan. There is a process that will take place for people to be admitted into this facility that largely revolves around medical need. If approved, this would be the only shelter in Ward 2 and the only one like this in the district. I'm extremely, extremely excited and thank the city and the deputy mayor and everyone else that's doing hard work on this for what might just be the best damn thing since life risk. What safeguards is the shelter proposing in terms of making sure that those restaurants and hotels that abut are protected? I've had a hotel where we've had mentally ill people come in and set fire in the women's bathroom defecate in the lobby furniture. And if everything goes according to plan, DHS says people could move in by October or November of this year. In the district, Walter Morris, News 4.